someone is looking. Uh, today I thought that I would tie a fly that I will fish uh, when I go to Norway uh, soon and uh, uh, I will tie it on a TTT tungsten turbo tube from Fredin Flies but it's gonna be uh, like this fly but I don't think that we will be needing this size so much but you never know it could be a flood or something but I will tie f a lot of small flies now so uh, I will tie on the TTT from Fredin Flies looks like this which I really like especially when I fish the lighter lines that go closer to the surface they're not lighter, they're as heavy as the sinking lines but they don't sink so fast so a float intermediate sink 2 or something first thing I did was burn a little color here and wait a few seconds So it dries, then we pull down the TTT all the way down to the little color we burnt and then we put it on the vise and when I press this in the plastic will expand and hold the TTT in place. I don't have to use any glue or anything. In the beginning I used glue underneath but now I know that I don't need to use any glue and let's see if I can find some tying thread. There it is. And I will tie it with, with black thread because I will end this with a little black soft hackle. So I just start to wind on the thread on top of the TTT like this, so the materials won't slide, which they usually don't do on the TTT, but if you tie on the BTT it's good to put a little drop of glue and then fill it up with some thread so the materials won't slip. And this fly is very easy to tie because I will have one wing and I will have a little discreet yellow, it's a little banana-ish. And I will use only one wing. So I take a bunch of this, it's supposed to be quite small, so I take away a few of the stiffer strands here. Like this, and then I take my little comb as always to take away this fluff. And the shorter strands, and then we make let's see how it looks a little tapering by pulling in the middle, like this, and I don't want this fly to be so long, so this is enough. I make one turn, pull down, loose turn, pull down, two, three, four, five, and then I look so I'm happy with the with the spread, a little bit down on my side. That looks good it's about four centimeters and then we just cut this away very simple and make sure that the wing is in the middle and then some alta gold angel hair just a few strands because i don't want these flies to be so visible make a turn Fold it over and one, two. See if they are spread over this little wing and then we cut them off shorter than the soft hair. Like this. Whip them a bit 
Then I need two small jungle cocks, not too long. I broke one, I hate that, but sometimes that happens. And then I line them up next to each other, peel them off, and when I make the one broke, but that doesn't matter. When I make these smaller flies, I use the hard white part to tie them in. So even if this one broke, I can still tie it in. First one on my side, that did not end where I wanted it to, like that. And then we take the second one and I twist it to see that it ends up in the same spot and the same length. A little shorter, something like that. I can adjust it a little bit afterwards and then loose turn, tie it in. And have a look from the front. Is it quite good? And I check from above. It's fine for me. This fly I will fish in Norway. I like this. And now I take some glue. I can cut off a little bit of this hair that's sticking out. And then I make it as a TTT Samurai. So I will use dubbing in front here. This is to lock in the wing and the jungle cock. Press this down a little bit. And then I will use dubbing to come down on the extra small tubing. So this will be a small TTT Samurai, something like that. And I won't brush this as hard as I do on the bigger TTTs. That's enough on top of the TTT. Then I just take a little bit more. Here I've mixed the uh, Glitz and regular dubbing in Alta Gold, and then I've added a few strands of hot magma yellow for the fluorescence. And then I go down on the extra small tubing like this, and then just push it in. You can put your fingers behind the TTT like this. This is a pretty small sunshine fly and now I don't brush it as hard. I need this one so I can do it like this. Just take out as many strands as I want to and try to make it, it even. around the fly. So like this. It's not a beautiful fly but this will fish really well and I have high hopes on these flies. Got glue on my fingers. And then I just make a few turns of a soft black feather. Put on a little tip, cut that little triangle, tie it in the tip, and I don't know why that thread is back there, it should be here. And then I lock it in on my side. I it's a little tricky with my big hands on these smaller flies. There you go, and just a few turns. 
of this I won't you use the whole feather because I don't want so much hackling on this one I'll just take this one turn fold everything back and two turns and I'm satisfied with that and then I just pull off the strands you can see like this this is where I want to lock it in later on so then I just hold this up and I take away I hope I don't break it these strands and then I just lock it in And these kind of flies I will tie in different colors and I will tie them small and in discrete colors and green and black and and then we take a few centimeters of glue on the thread hold up the thread so the glue won't run down your thread down into the bobbin that is no fun and now you have to be careful and try to make the turns on top of each other so we can hide this with a micro tungsten turbo cone head I have here and just put that on if you can grab a hold of it and then take the Bowers pack tube again put your fingers behind the TTT and just press this down like this oh, it looks all right But it was not sticking in the glue so I will take a little bit of glue in front and then push it on and so the little tungsten turbo cone head gets stuck this and then take away the glue with my fingers and now I can take it out of the vise and push it out like this and then I cut so it's one and a half or two millimeters or something you don't need as much plastic when you use these micro turbo cone heads and then I melt that down a little by little until it press, presses it up against the tungsten turbo tube. And then we put this on here so it makes a good hole. And this fly doesn't look like much but I have faith in them. Pretty small and translucent, and this will fish awesome on a float floating line and a float sink line, float intermediate sink three or something. This is a little bit too long, so let's just cut that out like that. Doesn't look like much, but. Uh, weighs quite a lot and I think it will swim really good in front of the fish or above them and I hope they take a bite out of this one it's a small very small version of this one like a banana samurai
So these ones I will fish if the water is low and the sun is shining. And I will tie even smaller ones, but this is a really simple tie. So thanks a lot for watching. It was a quick tie, but uh, I can show you how I will attach the hook on this one because the hook will be, be loose. So if I cut a little piece of this, and this is a quite discreet color, um, fits tubing in gold, I will take the tube cutter and I think that one centimeter will be enough for this fly. Just pull it through till it's one centimeter and then cut it off. And then I will put the line through this one and then put on the little gold uh, fist tubing and then tie on the hook and then push in, pull in the hook. So it looks like this when it's swimming. I think that I will make this one even shorter so it ends up around here. And maybe a little smaller hook. But this is how it's done. And it's a very cool way of doing it because you can change the colors. And you can put, uh, if you want more glitter, if it's a little bit more water, if it's a little murkier, murkier, you can put on a flash on this one, just burn a little color. And uh, I have one more tip for you, if, you, if your hook is not sitting so well in this one, all I do is I burn the ends on both sides, like this. Then I burn the other side as well, so I get two small colors, and uh, that will make the hole smaller. But uh, Fitz tubing is still soft, so I can put put them in. And now the hook will sit much uh, better. It won't. This won't slide back and forth because since I burnt a little color here it will hold the hook much better. So if you want the hook further out, you can do it like this. And it will sit like this when you fish. And you can all also pull it in all the way down here. So you can adjust the length with the, where the hook is. But I want the hook to be quite far in, so I will use maybe half of this. And just put the hook eye inside like this so that's a good way of making it look different in a very simple way so this doesn't look like much but I have high hopes in flies like this so I will tie more small uh, samurais on the TTTs. Thank you for watching and uh, I would be happy if you want to subscribe to my channel by clicking this picture of me here holding a fish or uh, just watch another of my small films. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon again. Bye bye!